The long-established ecosystems of Palau both sustain and protect its populations and its many visitors. Over the years and generations, a multitude of areas have been set aside and elevated to a higher protected status due to their special increased biological and cultural importance. Numerous sites are incorporated and contain ecosystems ranging from forest and river systems to mangroves, reefs, and reef channels. The reefs and mangroves, forests and rivers provide food, water, medicine, building materials, and hold a great cultural significance to Palawans. Certain threats have however been seen within Palau's protected areas and are known as invasive species. Um, to understand what an invasive species is, you have to first understand what an introduced species is. And an introduced species is any organism, animal, plant, pathogen, or disease that is not native to a certain ecosystem, but is brought in or introduced into that ecosystem uh, through human activities. And once that organism is introduced into the area, it becomes an invasive species if the population or their numbers become very abundant and then they start to cause harm to the environment, economy, or even human health. In terms of island ecosystems, um, invasive species, they bring about change, usually detrimental. And usually we are unable to correct any, for example, the brown tree snake. There's no way it can be eradicated in Guam. If they're trying, they're still trying, but it's, it's, and the loss that came with the introduction was so profound that there's, you know, you lose, you, nine species went extinct. Nine bird species went extinct. That in itself is just a total ecological loss. Uh, some of the main invasive species found in Palau are um, Maremia, Mikania, Mission grass and Imperata. And for animals is uh, monkeys, fruit flies, rhinoceros beetle. The biggest threat is the, the gabias. It has a big effect on the, the trees, which is the habitats for all uh, species uh, from the ground up, you know, so. It has a heart-shaped leaf with vines and it, it covers uh, the canopy that does affect the growth of the trees, especially the endemic uh, trees of Palau. And uh, also it uh, affects the birds that live there too. So, yeah. so uh, the, the work that we do to eradicate the invasive species is that we, we identify the site, we identify the size, and what type of uh, gavias or invasive species in that area. And what we do is we trace the vines all the way to the root of the problem. We, we cut the root of the problem and then whatever left that we took out, that we cut, we bring it out to the road or on the side to get picked up. We don't want to leave anything there. Also, we just want to make sure that there's no seeds or any other parts of the, uh, the invasive species there and it has potential to grow in that area. We stay there all the time. I was a program of Pansai Travalu, and I was a bird sanctuary. I was a cartel of the government, and I was a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a community outreach of Pansai. I was a little bit of a little bit of a little bit State Public Works Road and Ground. Ah. 
Clearing parties like this one use the same tools as can anyone else. It's better to be vigilant and stop the vine from growing when it's small. So we just dumped a fresh load of uh, caviar there. That fresh load will sit there and dry up for a couple of weeks to a month. And then we mix it with other materials, natural materials, organic materials. And then from this organic material, we we'll it, let it sit for about two to three months. And then we keep mixing it and the, the finished product is potting soil. And then after the potting soil is done and ready, we use it to plant decorative fruits and trees. Palau reefs and marine ecosystems are also under threat from invasive species. One such example is the crown of thorn starfish, which if left unchecked can destroy a vast area of coral reefs. There are numerous reasons why population can get out of control. Soil erosion covering the reef is one. The other cause of uh, crown of thorns starfish outbreak is uh, when you have uh, decreased uh, predators of this organism. So when there's few organisms feeding on uh, crown of thorns, uh, there's a tendency for the population of crown of thorns to expand or increase exponentially. What, what causes a decrease in uh, the predators to a crown of thorn starfish uh, is due to over harvesting of organisms like puffer fish or uh, the triton uh, shell which feeds on these organisms. We need our reefs to remain healthy, especially our MPA. When numbers increase, working parties are organized to remove as many as possible. Other marine ecosystems in Palau have also come under threat from invasive species, including an invasive anemone in the jellyfish lake. So during uh, our studies, we found a brown sea anemone that was not native to Jellyfish Lake. And we first found it at the dock. And from there, we've seen it spread from the dock all the way around the lake. And it was growing on mangrove roots, on the rocky bottoms. And it was just basically covering everything that uh, was a hard substrate. So we do see studies that have shown that uh, invasive species can have a huge negative impact on the ecosystems that are isolated. And um, we will, if this uh, trend of having introduced species into the lakes continue, 
then there could be that possibility of also seeing the same thing affect these isolated ecosystems in the lakes. Yeah. What we need to keep in mind is that invasive species are opportunistic. They, they don't usually travel between islands by themselves. They usually get there through some other means. Islanders are a cultural people and, and part of that culture is to when you visit another island you bring stuff over that, that, that sort of shows your appreciation for uh, you know, the exchange. That's, that's a big part of island, uh, island life. And that's a perfect opportunity for an invasive species. A little fire ant, a moth, a rhino beetle, a baby brown tree snake. I mean, there's, there's all, all kinds of creepers and crawlers and, 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 and things that are out there that, that will get into a new, you know, isolated island system and just wreak havoc. You know, when you see something, say something. As far as invasive species goes, you see, you see that a coconut tree's leaves are dying. Report it. Call somebody. The Bureau of Agriculture is there. Take phone calls, and they will, you know, find a way to check it out. If you're unaware of what are the invasive species, please uh, contact our plant state programs, PCS, and they will give you information and guidance on how to reduce the spread of uh, different types of invasive species.